Hey, this is uh, Jean-Paul from uh, London United Kingdom. Hey, in this video, uh, Kundalini Awakening Symptoms. Is a Kundalini Awakening dangerous? Well, I will share just my personal experience uh, with you. But, uh, you know, what you need to understand is that this could be for anyone different, all right? Uh, I mean, we all have uh, different topics in our life, you know, different kind of areas that in some areas we are a little bit weaker, like our health, our relationships, our career, our finances, and in other areas in our life we might be a lot stronger. So um, I did this uh, Kundalini Awakening back in 2013, all right? So I started with, uh, um, I started very, very, I became very active with my spirituality in, uh, in around uh, 2012 and in um, at the end of 2012 uh, things really really started to shift a little bit and in 2013 I had this um, yeah Kundalini awakening and what well first of all what is it in the first place well Kundalini awakening is basically where you start to work with your life energy right you need to see it like this we have like four different kind of bodies okay the physical the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. Okay. Now, through your mental, through, through your mental body, right, the left and the right side of the brain, the right side, um, the the right side of the communication, the creativity, uh, the emotional intelligence communicates with your emotional body. Okay. Through your emotional bodies, right, and emotion, energy, emotion, it connects with your chakra system. Okay. Um, the chakra system are your energetic vortexes and through those energetic vortexes um, you receive energy from the cosmos which which will go through your spine to the center of the planets okay so this is basically how you connect um, how you are the center between the cosmos and the planet and our earth so this kundalini awakening basically awaken your seventh chakra system now in the way I see it is that um, the majority of the people in our population have right now, let's say, only a half of their root chakra, let's say, activated or opened. And the root chakra represents basic survival. Okay. The, the flight, the, the fight or flight mechanism, right? So where you see like a predator, like a bear, uh, like a tiger, what, what do we do? We either fight flight or freeze all right so one of those threes so that basically comes from our root chakra let's say if your root chakra is fully operational that means surviving becomes thriving now obviously i was also at a stage that like like my root chakra was only like half activated now when i started to do my kundalini awakening it was basically like a meditation from like one hour and was divided to four parts. Every part was like a different movement, right? It was all, everything was based on the, on Shah Nisbet. So everything was a lot based on, on different kind of movements, exercises, uh, shaking your body and all this kind of good stuff. So that was really, really activating the energy. And the last 50 minutes of this Kundalini Awakening, um, I had to, we had to lie down on the floor and really really had to breathe very very strong and from that moment um, that was the first time I started to experience like an out-of-body experience all right so basically with my spirits I left my body I was still conscious but I left my body I saw the roof above me open up and it was like I was like hugging <laughs> Embracing the entire cosmos, or not, not the entire cosmos, but the entire Milky Way galaxy, which was like a pretty awesome experience. Then, after that, I became like high sensitive. I always was like high sensitive, but it was always like I was living in a stage of suppressing it. All right, and I, f I think that most intuitive sensitive people are suppressing their emotional body okay because we would we don't we just don't want to embrace our emotions we carry so much stuff with us you know fear guilt anxieties you name it all those low vibrations we are trying to hold it like a balloon under the water and a kundalini awakening symptom could be is that those balloons who we are trying to hold under the water come to the surface 
All right, so that's that's basically our awakening process. It's called, I like to call this the apocalypse of human consciousness, right? The unseen truth coming to the surface. And the unseen truth is um, is the lies and illusions that we were living, and we're waking up to the reality of self love. So, um, yeah, what happened? That well, very long story, but my entire world started to shift. I always thought. Um, and I always knew I had to be in business. I was an entrepreneur and I was indeed at the time in business for myself. I had like an internet marketing business. Um, I was making good money on a monthly basis. And then suddenly I stopped resonating with what I was doing. I stopped believing what I was doing and I stopped believing in the people I was serving at the time. So um, at the moment, those thoughts and emotions came up, my business collapsed and I was back at zero. So that could be. And Kundalini awakening symptom is it dangerous well well you need to ask yourself this question do you want to hold on the illusions the fears that you were living do you want to trying to keep suppressing uh, your baggage under the water or do you want to embrace transformation do you want to start embracing of letting go who you thought you had to be and do you want to totally embrace that's what is and totally embrace and start to reconnect with your core essence which is divine self-love and develop divine personal power and move up into transformation into a state of alignment so that's basically my experience um i hope this was helpful if so then please leave your comments below this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and um if i went a little bit too fast and you want to read everything over again then uh, if you're not on my blog yet you will find the link below this video tubeinspiration.com and also there you will find a free coaching call about how you go through this process okay how to how to develop uh, divine self-love and develop divine personal power and start to create the reality that you truly desire and deserve for example as an, an authentic social entrepreneur all right so hey Jean Paul here thank you for watching thank you for listening and uh, take care for now. Bye-bye.